What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Jungle972 here, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger Definitive Edition. And it is indeed a homecoming, though, because we are taking Nadia back home to Guardia Castle. <sighs> Where's this Nadia? Hmm. Just a greenie, too, isn't he? You're abducted. We have soldiers combining them. <laughs> Coming to. <laughs> you back there. You're the one. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, assuming a lot, buddy. <laughs> Seize him. Seize the filthy terrorist. He's deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown. <sighs> people in a panic, man. People in a panic. Dare I say, people in a panic. Seems kind of familiar, doesn't it? Uh, what are your fools doing? It doesn't matter what she said. Seize him. Real, real question is, who's really the one who's the, uh, who's the hierarchy there? The chancellor or the princess? I mean, honestly, I would like to know. This is court TV. <laughs> you are tuning in live to court TV. I'm your chancellor. Oh, <clears throat> the chancellor is the prosecutor too. I, Pierre, represents the defense. As you can see, Pierre represents the defense here. Members of the court, I now bring the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. Get over here, prick. <laughs> I bet you that's what really happened. <laughs> shall we decide? What shall be his fate? The murder about the stake, perhaps? Do you feel the tickler or hang upside down? I don't even want to know what the tickler is, but if it means being tickled to you literally asphyxiate, or shall we employ the guillotine? Well, hopefully not either one. The choice is good as yours, jurors. Now let us begin. We shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Girl is charged with premeditated abduction of the royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant came at the princess. However, the truth is quite the contrary. Not only was the meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. Is this true? Who was responsible for initiating contact? Uh, I don't remember. Not he was. Are you so certain? Our witnesses say that you were the one who bumped into the princess. Oof! Oof indeed. <laughs> These people are rowdy. I remember on the, uh, on the Super Nintendo version, on the Super Famicom version, they're, they're, they're as calm. I have a subdued with the princess. The defendant then coerced her into visiting Luke's, Luca's little side show. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not a criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Addiction. You know, this guy's probably a good... This guy's probably a good lawyer, though, but a French lawyer? Uh, this cannot be a cause of any relative to this case. Good respond, Chancellor. Colonel's character is the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well. Then we have nothing to hide. Would you like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character? God, if he didn't sound... If he sounded like that, even I would probably cringe. This man brought me... Brought my kitty back. Thank you, mister. You're welcome, young lady. How's about that? And before you as fine upstanding youth, he deserves to be honored, not put on trial. Shh. Looks like I think they're buying it. My fake accent, I think. <laughs> the real issue <coughs> The real issue is motive. Was there any motive for getting good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pardon me, but I do believe the motive was quite clear. Greed. Your fortune did tempt you, did it not? I mean, if she was Sugar Mama, yeah, but now... Are you sure? 
weren't at least a bit tempted at all? Nope. Very well. No more questions, Your Honor. I believe that it has been made evident that my client is fine and virtuous young man. The defense rests, Your Honor. Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant is guilty, stand to the left. Innocent to the right. Let's see. Not guilty. Not guilty. So far, so good. Not guilty. Not guilty. <laughs> Four not guilties. Not guilty. Not guilty. Here's I'm a good man. A good fine youth. Guilty. <laughs> Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Order in the courts. A verdict has been reached. Six to one. The defendant has been found not guilty. But even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided her in, in her flight from the castle. I said as the accused of three days of solitary confinement as punishment. Okay. I mean, me being alone in my thoughts and all that, though. In a square room with nothing but a bucket to shit in? For Princess Nadia. <clears throat> That's quite enough, young lady. But, Father! All I ask was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even royalty must obey laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. We are through here. Uh, I would be young, right? Going across that long ass bridge, too. In cuffs. With a midget old man. With a scepter. I mean, I mean, a French judge. I, I mean, sorry, a French uh, <clears throat> lawyer, if you will. This man is the sickness who's, been thrown, who's meant to overthrow our kingdom. <laughs> Planting words in people's mouth, right? He has been found guilty by trial. I trust him in your care. Move up, you little shit. So this is the monster who decked the princess. His execution is in three days, hence. See that he is still here to attend it. Execution? I don't recall hearing anything about that. No cause for concern. There's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? <laughs> Never, sir. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't he didn't do the crime. But you know, this is kind of a reflection of you know America's justice system too. Ooh, looks looks like I got a care package. It's pretty big for solitary confinement. Hmm. What's this? <clears throat> I sympathize from your trial, thought that for you. Enjoy it while you can. Oh, three ethers. This will be good. HP and MP restored. You know what? I, I'm, I'm not gonna. I didn't do the crime. I'm not gonna do the time. How many times have to turn at 50? You will quiet down. Open the door. Ow. Way to oversell, Chrono. Put him over like a beast. <laughs> That's what you get for not doing what you're told. Sorry, I'm the king of the no-sell. That's a shoot. What do you think you're... Yeah, let's finish this off real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm officially a renegade. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, looks like, uh... Uh... The trial. Well, looks like I am a fugitive. What's it we got down here? Keep going this way. Keep going that way. Go to this tower real quick. 
Should be some goodies over here. Sneak up behind you and <laughs> knock your ass out. Yeah, don't make me kick your ass, okay? Uh, prison's bad, especially when you lie in prison. It's bad. Because prison's bad, okay? Oh, look at that. Med potion, med potion, and ether. I'm gonna spank you like a little redhead stepchild. <laughs> Would you look at that? So you're the one that's gonna slip this and slip this cell, eh? Yep, it is. Big whoop, wanna fight about it with your base? Yeah, big whoop, come on, come on, what do you got, what do you got, huh? what do you got? Yeah, you gave me an ether too. Hmm, they don't pay me enough for this. At least you know your worth, especially in this economy. Alright, gonna run through here. Take care of these little... Hang on. These little sentries. What are they called? Little incognitos, if you will. They have the little weak points right behind the uh, little shield. Come on, come on. I like enemies like that, though. Enemies you have to kind of wait and actually, you know, time your attacks to. You know, especially you know, for a turn-based RPG, too, so... Alrighty. There he is! Yeah, I might as well go for the one that I was uh, staring at. I guess that's all I really need, too, is just to go for the one you're staring at. He's down. Alrighty. <laughs> uh oh! I mean, I could use the experience points, but... I could always sneak up behind him. <laughs> Thanks for the mid-potions. It was free. <laughs> Solid snake, eat your heart out. Let's see what we got in here. Need to rescue somebody. Help, help me, please. Sure. I shall free you. And you know, the, kill, the guillotine's probably pretty dull, too, man. That would have been a painful way to go out, too, just sitting there and hacking and hacking and hacking until your skull finally split. Excuse me. I'm Fritz. My father runs his market in True. Stop by if you ever need in the area. Like I was saying, actually, um, yeah, imagine that, you know, just, boom, hacking at your neck. Not your skull. Okay. Nab this. Bronze armor. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I hope you're present. I hope the people in this prison know that they got a little bit of undead. You know, in their prison too. I mean, I mean, they had unfinished business, so I might as well finish them off right now. Uh, goodbye. I mean, I can tell you right now, though. You know, just I'm not a doctor, though, but it looks like you've uh, gone far past the uh, uh, case of deadness. here again. Hang on, I think I can actually walk in between these. Oh, I can. You know what? I ain't got time to worry about this. Hey, there he is! Let's guard the door. Man, you know, for a lot of, you know, for big bulks of armor, too, man, you got some real, real, real skinny looking legs, man. Seriously, man, it's like a, it's like a bunch of roosters walking around with that shit. Somebody help! Not bad for a warden, though, who just runs. Came to rescue you. Didn't even help after all. Oh, well, maybe I didn't. I stick around too long. Let's get up out of here. Oh, yeah. He's unconscious. I'm mid. Five mid potions. Yep, they're gonna come in handy. No, I don't even think there's a trial anymore, though. I think it's just a sit. If you ask me, though, this is more like a sentencing. 
And I should heal too. I should heal too, so... Yeah, because this fight though was, uh... You know, if, uh, this, if this tank didn't have, you know, such, uh... Certain vulnerabilities, this would be much easier. That is the Chancellor in the uh, Dragon Tank. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, Dragon Tank! Rush those conspirators! Alrighty. There we go. Head repairs damage, so let's go for the head first. Hit the head hard, hit it strong, hit it fast. You gotta worry about that too, it's just running you over. On the little flamethrower on the mouth too. I mean, it is a. Uh... Yeah, so it's more like a three. Like it's more like, you know, one on two with the three turns at a time. So yeah, you gotta be really, really careful with that. It repairs the damage. Will you fuck off already? There we go. Repairing more damage, huh? Oh, you think you're funny, don't you? That <laughs> ran over. This was real life, man. You would be very, very flat. Yeah, they're going after the uh, Hounds right there. There. Alrighty. Boom. A little more, a little more, a little more. Of course, the head repairs the damage. This could be a long fight sometimes too if you're not ready. Or if you're not fast enough too. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about the head here. I'm just gonna worry about uh getting the grinder here. Luca, charge. Luca, don't you die, don't you die, me little girl. Strong, hit it fast. Alrighty, come on, come on, just keep alive, keep alive. We're good, you're good, you're good. There we go, grinder is down. Don't have to worry about that. So it's finally like a two on two fight, though. There we go. Worry about this, and it's smooth sailing. <sighs> again and again with the laser and the missiles. Don't blow it! Don, are you in there blowing it? Alright, let's let's end this already. Too long of a fight as it is. What's that counterattack, man? I'm not gonna waste any magic on it. <sighs> Easy peasy. Sword right into the torso. Dragon tank! Fix it quickly! While it's exploding, fix it. 
I mean, people do things whenever they panic. Don't fool yourselves thinking you won this! Uh oh. They're escaping! Got no choice. Gotta plow our way through. We uh, have to uh, plow our way through. Wow, they're actually faster on this version. Get out of here. Stop that right now. Princess Nadia. Here they come. And you will treat him as such. But your highness. Mm hmm. Apparently, forgive me. Hold it right there. <clears throat> Wouldn't be surprised, you know, if you were a descendant of somebody else, too. On your knees, His Grace King Arnold the Thirty Third comes before you. Father, silence, Nadia. Your duties become before your whims. You are a princess before all else. Virgin? Yep. Oh yeah, she's a strong, independent woman. All of these little excursions of yours outside the castle seem to have a bad influence on you. It's not influence. It's, yes, indeed it is, common sense. I can't live in this stupid castle anymore. I am leaving. You know what? For Final Fantasy VI, you would get along with Saban. Trading, your free, trading uh, the crown for freedom? Who knows? Royalty itself is a prisoner into its own. Don't just stand there after him! After them all! Oh, no idea. There they are! Don't lose them! Nowhere left to run, huh? Come along quietly. Yeah, I think not. Oh, would you look at that? The gate. Yes, indeed, a gate. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, we're waiting. It will take us when we get back. I don't think Nadia cares. I really don't think so. Princess Nadia! Totally irrational, you know. I agree, but you know what? It's our only escape plan. Yeah. I'm out of here. Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> I love that face. They, they disappeared. Okay, I'm not going to lie, though. The uh, warping on, on this version kind of gives me a little bit of a headache. Not the uh, not this right here, though, but like whenever it goes through. Ugh. Oh, no way the chancer can get his here. But where are we? The civilization here seems pretty advanced. Almost looks like we're in another world. You know what? You are, and you're not. And uh, in the next episode, we'll uh, take it away from 2300 AD. I'll see you then. Peace.